strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman. I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. You saw what they did at the debate. They're terrorizing Gotham. That's all there is to it. Yeah, some say they're liberating it. And you believe that? Well, it doesn't matter what I believe. I just report the facts. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. It's all out there. Clear as day. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. The children of Arkham heard you too. They don't deserve your protection. Hmm, that's not up to me to decide. I have to remain unbiased. Something you should learn to do. What does that mean? I'm talking about Bruce Wayne. I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but... With the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. No investigation. I'm not here to talk about Bruce Wayne. Look, I came here to meet you. I didn't have to do that. I'm not stupid. I know you have some connection with him. That data drive he gave me? That was from you. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So... What are you going to do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people want to know. That's enough questions. <sighs> Fine. If that's how you feel. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> we are not done. I think we are. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, just don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham. They may not have gone far. They should be there. No security, no emergency staff. If Vicky's right, it shouldn't be this quiet. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. 
Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. The officer that was taken from the construction site, shot in the chest. Oh, how terrible. There's something else. He was shot dead center, twice, executed. I suppose they no longer had need of a hostage. This man's veins, they look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only they're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27-minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Someone's been practicing chemistry. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. So we know where, but what are they planning? They've altered the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. 
With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it to the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming! Take cover! If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. It's all here. Okay, you two! Get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. Doesn't sound like she's too happy to be here. She might need your help. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. Death might be preferable. I know what you have planned with the Skyrim. It's not going to happen. Killing you both will have to be a consolation prize. Hmm. 
Thanks, Max. Train's ready. Move out. sure you can back it up. Try me. Go on. Show me how you save your precious city. <laughs> Just like the other liars. Uh, uh, uh. 
Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Thank you, Selena. Don't thank me yet. <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, what? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would have killed you. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Suddenly so agreeable. <laughs> I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. I feel like I owe you anyway. That's twice now. You just keep adding things to my list, don't you? Selena. I told you I don't like owing people. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader. I had a plan. Really didn't need you swooping in and messing it up. I was just trying to help you, Selena. I didn't ask for your help. <laughs> well, I didn't ask for yours either, but here we are. Touche. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. <sighs> I'm sorry I messed things up for you back there. I know. I'm used to it anyway. There's no such thing as a fresh start. Well, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. I'm not sure I care much for her either. Way to win her over. <laughs> Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something just beneath the surface. So what is it you're hiding, Selena? All kinds of things. Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world and won't let anyone else see? Yeah, well, the difference is my secret doesn't hurt anybody. And then you're better than most. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. You're just listing all the things I like about you. <sighs> now you've ruined it. What? Nothing. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but... I've taken plenty from good people, too. <laughs> For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town. The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... Nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. You're not alone, okay? I'm here for you. Thanks, Bats. I was hoping for something more than that.
Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? Let me help you. Mm. It's what you do best, isn't it? Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? Rise and shine. Not yet. I'm starving. <sighs> Not quite what I was looking for. I think there might be bagels in the fridge. Would definitely check expiration dates on anything. <sighs> Before you think about putting it in your mouth. <clears throat> Bruce? Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. heard from you. I didn't know what happened if if you were... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. <sighs> I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that certainly explains it. I really like her. I'm sorry, are you smiling? You can't tell if I'm smiling. I know you, sir. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. I trust her, Alfred. That's all I need to know. If you're sure, at the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. Pretty strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. They could use something like this. She can afford to eat anywhere, and she still chooses Chinese takeout. That isn't even the good place. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. Hm. Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh, the Gita Govinda. That's... academic. Her cat eats like a queen while she's eating junk. Huh. 
vacation spots are just marks on her burglary checklist. It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the... Seriously. What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I just came by to check on Selena. What, with your pants off? Back off, Harvey. Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me! Not if it was real anyway. God, how could you ever think it was? What are you talking about, Harvey? You two were never a couple to begin with. But you knew! You two done? You want something? You gotta say so. Nobody's responsible for your hurt feelings. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? You can't stop them! He can't. I may go down for what my father did, but I won't take her down with me. She'll be fine. Ah, funny. Thinking you have a choice. Thinking you can save the people around you. Thinking you could do what Harvey couldn't! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Oh my god. This... this is the monster they all know that you are. Embrace it. No, no. Oh, God, this is what you wanted to see, isn't it, huh? The freak! Harvey. Yeah. All right, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with that. Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who oh, am I? Yes, you are. This isn't you. Just calm down! <laughs> Shut up! Jesus, Harvey. Of course. Gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it. One way or another. <sighs> How about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. Harvey! Bruce! No! I don't want to hurt you! This isn't... They turned their backs on you! Harvey, put the knife down! <sighs> Selena! He's gonna hurt someone! You know we can take him out! Have you lost your mind? No. Harvey! You need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Come on, Harvey! 
Harvey, that's enough. Please. I don't want to be alone, Bruce. Please, not with him. But I can't. Oh, God, I can't listen to him. You need to get help. You can't deal with this on your own. I know. Yeah, I know, I know. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. I think maybe you're right. There's nothing we can do for him now. Let me call someone. I'll... I'll go. I know I messed it all up. You don't have to... Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. <sighs> yeah, you're right. It's not safe to stay here. And I'm not sure I'm gonna find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, that means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic.
So use it. Don't be their puppet. Maybe you're right. This could be my chance to expose Oswald for who he really is. Let Gotham know he's a part of the children of Arkham. Exactly. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. You're right. This is my legacy, and the only reason I'm putting up with this charade. Yes. Well, as long as you cooperate, I suppose your motivation is irrelevant. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance, a noble hero riding in to save the day. Oh, don't worry, Oz. I'll make sure you remember every moment. Meaning? That's enough, both of you. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone. And thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me? Taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, dear heart. Not even close. No one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. It'd almost be sad if you were so bloody handsome. The children of Arkham handed you this coup, Oswald. You didn't earn any of it. Who cares? It never really matters how a king comes to sit on his throne, Bruce. The only thing that matters is that it's his bum warm in the chair. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. That is not going to happen. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Bruce. It doesn't look nice on you. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah, and I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. I know you're lying, Oswald. You don't know anything. I wouldn't lie about this, I promise. The story's too good for that. <laughs> Buzz it yourself. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> I've been asked here today to lie to you, to regurgitate a script prepared by the company, all to hide the fact that I have been forced out. But I won't do that. I will not lie to save face. One moment, folks. Try that again, and I'll call security.
I know what my father did. I know how much he hurt you, but I am nothing like him. His actions are his own. Stop trying to save face. I worry for the future of Wayne Enterprises. The decisions made in the next few days will be critical in shaping what that future will be. Careful, Bruce. Mr. Wayne, are you having trouble reading the teleprompter? My so-called replacement, Oswald Cobblepot, is a criminal, not a businessman. His entire history has been fake. <laughs> oh, very oh funny, Bruce. Oh, my God. No joke between friends. Security. Step back, Mr. Wayne. Oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> my apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone. I, for one, completely understand his behavior today. Nice After statement. All, the press to seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. I did what I felt was right. So yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. It's not an easy thing, seeing something you've come to have as part of your identity. Dropped your pen. That's not... I should know. I'm sure some of you remember the form of beauty of... You feel that? That's the drug taking hold of you. Don't fight it. You? You're with the children of Arkham. No. I am the children of Arkham. I think it's time I knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if he told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Wayne! Someone's a little touchy, it seems. You want this so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice?
after his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Batman, the children of Arkham, the Penguin. Doesn't Gotham already have enough deranged criminals terrorizing its streets? I believe that Gotham's citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? I haven't actually seen it yet. They've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selena. I have to tell you how I... Bruce? should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Breakfast. 
Okay, I'm up. I'm up. For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. The doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Someone was angry. Lovely. <coughs> this can't be real. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. Go on, then. Hit me. Don't get cocky, Wayne. the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. He's lying. He was the one who kicked their ass. I understand wanting to protect someone, but fighting isn't the way to do it. We'll have to talk about this later. Rude. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but... I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. 
thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your... blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. For There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! <laughs> Our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself now. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> Gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leila? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patients to swallow game pieces isn't really how I'm supposed to. No, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> then stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, dumbass. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me around like this. I'm a giver. <laughs> what can I say? I always try to keep an eye out for new guys. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! The remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just... just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. 
That's the way the cookie crumbles. Cookie. Cookie crumbs. That's it. <laughs> yes, I cracked it. <laughs> shh, shh. Oh. this. Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't... It's not time for meds, either. Beat it. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Not speaking as a, <clears throat> as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there. And I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? He cheats. Every time. He cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater! I told you. If I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. What? Why? No reason. What do you want? So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. Lewis! Hmm? What? No, that wasn't me. I I I'm sane, Lewis. And, and that was... What do you want? Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me! I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. What's that? Oh, no, no, no. That's not polite at all. At all! I need my control of me. Doctor says that's against the rules. For the last time, Taylor, I'm not mind controlling. Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Can you tell me about uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. 
Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah. Nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know. In case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Uh, sure. We can never do that. Not to all of them, anyway. Doesn't work there. It didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one, has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double crossing, two faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too in which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. <coughs> Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the, uh, lady. Right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is... Tell me what you know. You wanna find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Getting your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. I'll find a way to take her down, but I'm doing it my way, quietly. Could be interesting. Little Bruce lurking in the shadows. Though I think we both know you could do more. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce, and I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. 
It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... uh, assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? I'm not doing any favors for you, John. And here I thought we were getting along so well. We can keep working on our friendship when we meet again, can't we? All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. This skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Call security! I've been trying to contact you, but they wouldn't let me through. They told me you'd lost your mind. Contact my lawyers. You'll need to post bail, but that shouldn't be a problem. You have got to get me out of here. I'll see what I can do. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Whitley, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite the show. Pretty grisly scene in there. 
Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. You may have the money to make this go away, but this is going to hurt you in the long run. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I appreciate your concern, Doctor, but I assure you, I'm fine. You don't know that, Bruce. I'm the medical professional, and from everything I've observed, you're clearly in need of treatment. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! What's that about? <laughs> well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. So many people angry at me. The entire family. I just hope I can turn it around. Sure, you'll figure something out. You always do. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. Just leave me the hell alone, Harvey. Trust me, it'll be easier for you in the long run. I was doing you a favor, Bruce. If you want to get ugly, well, that can be arranged. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selina. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selina. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. 
If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. What is your problem? Because you are making a big mistake right now. Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! Alright, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Ram the barricade! This isn't the Batmobile. Just do it, Alfred! Hey! What do you mean, you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? So you're just gonna leave me alone here to deal with him? That's right. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. That night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Okay, don't you think you're being just a little overdramatic? Harvey wouldn't kill you. No? Look what he's done to you. And you're the type of person who shows up in headlines. He could have me killed, and no one would ever know. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with... All of this. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. Yes, of course. 
If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan, then. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. Seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to... sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Should do it. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman! Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I never trusted her. There was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh... met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful.
I'm inside the Vale House. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Looks like a company logo. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it.
The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way.
Fay, with Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham. Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. Anything? No. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir... Is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. I need to know what happened. No! 
Tell me what no. you saw. Go away. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Y yeah? I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down! Nice work, kid. <gasps> They're dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman! Oh my god! He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not any more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. So your bat stunner just didn't work? 
That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal.
electricity conductor. Everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Don't waste time beating yourself up about it, Lucius. Let's just focus on fixing it. Right, right. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. No time for stealth, Lucius. You need to get those firewalls augmented fast. And if he notices, well, we'll figure it out from there. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? This is Bruce's problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? Don't screw this up, Harvey. Harvey, we need to talk. If you've come to save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. I have always supported you. You were my friend. Tell me, Bruce. Were you thinking about our friendship when you were screwing Selina? Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about sleeping with Selina. I get it. But this has to stop. Now. Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. The value of your estate. It could be used to do a lot of good. Believe me, Harvey, I have been paying for them my whole life. I have nothing left to give. I'll be the judge of that. The deal is done. A strong leader doesn't back down. When they see an enemy, they crush them without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. That I would weed out the crime and corruption. 
Boy, you are really living up to your campaign slogan, aren't you? Put a dent in crime. Oh, I'm living up to it, all right. I'm about to put a dent in crime so large, it'll change the face of Gotham forever. <laughs> the children of Arkham won't know what hit them. What are you talking about? Ready to go. Do it. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Hey, man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Oh, Jesus Christ! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? Does a leader kill innocent people? You're a murderer now. Their deaths are unfortunate. But think about everyone the children of Arkham could have hurt with those drugs. That feels like an acceptable price to pay. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. That I'll do anything to protect my city. That I am the guardian of Gotham. I don't care how many resources, how much I have to spend, I will use my last penny if that's what it takes to stop you. No bother. It's not your concern anymore. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor saves citizens from Children of Arkham Terror Plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company, losing all your money. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Arkham. Tragic, but unsurprising. Maybe even dear old Alfred will shed a tear. If you kill me, you better make sure I'm dead. Because if not, what I did to Cobblepot will look like child's play. <laughs> Good to know. Come on, keep walking. Wait. Shut up! Just wait. Just keep moving. Look at what you're doing. This is wrong, and you know hey, it. Hey, he said shut up. You're cops. You're supposed to protect people, keep them safe. Is this really what your badge stands for? This is how we're keeping people safe. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. Harvey's not gonna save Gotham. He's going to destroy it. No. No, 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 he won't. Look at what he's already done tonight. Do you think that's gonna be the last city block he blows up to get his way? I, uh, I hadn't thought about it that way. Hey, don't listen to his crap. The mayor's the only one brave enough to take real action against our enemies. Your mayor just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I, I, but... If you think that's where he's gonna stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I, uh, um, maybe, uh, maybe he has a point. Shut up! You just don't get it! You don't understand! That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? Uh... Nothing. Just think for yourselves. You're not Harvey's puppets. You are more than This that. isn't about the mayor. This is about protecting the city. And that's why we're not afraid to do what it takes. Officer! Drop your weapon! You okay? Yeah. 
You really showed up in the nick of time. How'd you even find me? Den just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. Den's gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist with half the city's support behind him. The amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arkham might be neck and neck on body count by this point. Dent needs to be stopped, Jim. Now. Or that block won't be the last thing that gets destroyed. Uh, we'll stop him. But it ain't gonna be easy. It's a mess out there. I can't help but feel guilty. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I hand it into my superiors and... God, this happens. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help. But I feel like my hands are tied every direction I turn. Grogan's out for Batman's head, as soon as he can figure out a way to do it. <sighs> I've never felt this frustrated with a system in my entire career. Harvey's power comes from abusing the system. Maybe you should let someone outside of the system take care of him. Like Batman. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. But noted. Everything is such a goddamn mess. Do you need a ride? Thanks, but I've got it taken care of. What's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. He has a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Are you there? I'm off site, but I've tapped into the security systems to give us an advantage. I can let you know where all's old guards are, and which routes are clear. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can do that too. Avoid that hallway. More guards ahead. Go right. Wait. Drones ahead. Turn around. Head for the elevator. I'm opening the doors. Now! <clears throat> Nice work. 
I assume Oswald is in my office. Naturally. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless, you you're all bloody useless! Hey, it's the bad. You're a dead man! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again. Globe while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah? I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. That's not happening. You're outmatched here. Give up. Oh, is that what you think? What, because of all those fancy gadgets? You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control nations. What are you and Lady Arkham planning? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. But Lady Arkham, she has vision. That's why she made sure I was put in charge of the company. Why waste our time? <sighs> oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy-eared costume. You can't stop us. Watch me. It's almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes, all your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Mm. Oh, is this how it feels when you put on that suit? I like it! Shut you down! I'm the one with the toys now, Batman! <laughs> this is the start of a new legacy! And I'm afraid you don't have any place in it. Absolute b 
bastard! It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution is over. It started with you, and it ends with Lady Arkham. Oh, good luck. You'll never find her in time. Where is she? What is she planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. The city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off! I'm not telling you anything. When she's ready, she'll find you. You're nothing but a pawn to her. And you're a fool if you think otherwise. You don't get it, do you? I'm not a pawn. I'm a soldier. I die before I sell out the cause. What the? Just cut me down, mate. I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell them, Wayne, put up a fight.
it's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. So where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That's what a leader does. Oh, you psycho! No, you can do whatever you want to me. But Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. You're done, Gordon! Give up your badge and we'll let you live! Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist, and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence. Violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? How long can we... Hey, excuse me, you can't be in here. Hey, you can't do this! Shut hey, up. let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me, you punks. Just in time, Batman. Ugh. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Which isn't many. Dent is a maniac. And he needs to be stopped before he tears this city apart. Yeah, don't let me get in your way. Come on. The commissioner's still down there. Oh. Sure you're up for this? I have to be. Follow my lead.
Bobby, the commissioner. They can't hold out much longer. Is he? God damn it! No! Not you two. He died a hero, giving his life for Gotham. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Now this. This is not your fault. It's a bastard, Dents. Grogan was a good man, a family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor! He's got... hostages. And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says... He says... Cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all! Kelly! Get out of there! Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide! Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I'll draw his focus from the hostages. Their lives are the priority. Just remember, your life is important too. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. Now, I want to save for Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. A fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just... I know I can make the city better. If only I... Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life. And I've never seen an official I can believe in. Tell you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. <laughs> Lucky. But someone has to die. 
Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. You weaseled your way out of the death you deserve. Like a coward. Why, do you actually grow a backbone? I'm here to stop you, Harvey. You've hurt too many people. This has to end. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but... I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. You have terrorized this city. Murdered innocent people. There's no coming back from that. I might as well embrace the life I've chosen! This city needs to be purged of people like you! All of you! Traitors! Terrorists! And cops who don't take their mayor's orders! Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! No, please! This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You're a murderer. There is nothing left of the Harvey I knew. This is the only way to deal with them. Ooh, not your lucky day. No! <laughs> Deborah. My not-so-faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! <laughs> I swear I did all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all hinge on shit. You're weak, Harvey. Letting a coin make your decisions. It's not weakness, Wayne. It's strength. To accept there's something bigger than me. Bigger than any of us. It's your lucky day, Deborah. <laughs> now, Bruce! Stay back! Oh, God, please don't. Harvey, no more. No more? I'm just getting started! This is the only way to keep people in line. Otherwise, they walk all over you! You're sick, Harvey. You think you can run the city after this? You... you were Harvey's friend, Wayne. He thought you'd save this city together. Uh, but he... he was a fool for believing in you! That's enough, Harvey. You're right. Two-faced move, I know. But sometimes, you have to make your own luck. One last call. A bullet in the head, or one in the heart. I'm feeling pretty good about those odds. Give me the coin! I need... I need the result! Where do I shoot? Drop the damn coin! Without the coin, I can't... I don't know what to do! If you insist... No! Too. I can't decide. It's too much. 
It's too much, I can't! A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. Wherever they put me, whatever they do, I'll get out. I'm coming for you, Wayne. Nowhere is safe. You're gonna die. I'm gonna make sure that never happens. You'll be in the strongest cell with the highest walls. Ooh, you think that's gonna stop me? You have no idea who I am. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, I, I owe you so much. You're a hero, and I'm going to make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! <laughs> Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. Usual tea, and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. Thanks, Alfred. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. Bruce... These last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. N not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Even those whom you admire. Well, not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald... Whose fault it is doesn't matter, Alfred. What does is that we stop them. You're right, sir. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, and finally log into Wayne Enterprises, and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. 
Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. Oswald was... was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it... Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Oh. Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. No surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. <sighs> Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah, oh, that's better. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here, and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reported for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record. Her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries, but yet... It doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. The Children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. 
until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. I trusted you. And you stole from me. Don't take it so personally. Besides, we both know you're not here because of hurt feelings. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. Enough games, Selina. Hand it over. Now! <sighs> you just have no imagination, do you? Catch. It's clear you're not gonna be any fun. And I'm not in the mood for a fight. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, 
It didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you, hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but, but think of the fun. You know I'm right. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look away. What happened to Harvey? It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Selena, I would never hurt you. Bruce, I... That's really sweet. But it brings us to the root of our problem, doesn't it? You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady. Is that what you really thought? No, well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Oh, Bruce. Didn't know you were the sensitive type. Just stop the show, Selena. Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? Because I love you, Selena. You... You barely know me. Bruce. If that's your idea of love, I feel sorry for you. Well, there's one good thing to come out of this. No, I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. Can't wait to get out of this place. I'll see you around. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. 
Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Ash everywhere. What did they do to you, Alfred? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? I don't see a connection here. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. How the hell... These weren't scattered by the same event. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. This pool cue was used as a weapon, swung so hard it broke in half. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon, broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself, 
Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Alfred. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the bad computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. Here we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. for all homes built on that date.
and get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. What is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state-of-the-art. This ends tonight. Heading into the basement. Be careful. I'm all right. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Alfred. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Vales have a false wall in their basement? Now let's find out where the Vales were hiding it. Small room. With a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Alfred! Going inside. Bruce, what's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? Vicky. She was kept down here, locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? It's why she killed the Veils. They abused her. 
I'm not saying what she did was right, but... But... I can't imagine what she went through. The Vale's foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different. Newer. One piece apart from the others. Red. Mm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... Those towers. That must be Arkham Asylum. He left me a message using this chalk, but there must be more to it. Words. They're highlighted. Taking me. Vicky's own drawing of Arkham for the location. Arkham? But people would know. The staff would see them. That's the final piece. Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. Including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors. Release the inmates. And she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. the last of it then the children of Arkham have taken over that suits no slouch you're well prepared for a fight and the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates if you can find Alfred maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose almost ready let her know copy on our way go ahead I got this This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham will learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You wouldn't know how I survived. I survived 
Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. a pleasure to see your work in person. Batman! 
Lady Argo has a hostage. We've got the Amis. Lock it down! There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. You've already lost, Vicky. Come out and surrender! <laughs> Let him go! The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than this one? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward. Blaming other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. Wayne is.
curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is just a tool. I could never do my job if people knew who I really was. Really? Well, I was hoping for something a little more interesting. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Hold on, Alfred. You... you... you came... you came for me. After what you said, I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? She just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. That man told you. Shut up, old man. You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you care. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. You're only a piece in the bigger game, but you're the only piece I have left. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge!
You belong in this darkness, Madden. You'll be buried with it. You and the puddle. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it. It's better that they don't. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. Alfred, here, l let me help. No, no, don't. With everything that's been going on, I... I, uh, I haven't yet thanked you, Bruce. You've saved my life. I've no doubt Miss Vale would have killed me had you not arrived when you did. But the fact remains, in my state, I'm not of much use to you. It'll take time to adjust, and I'm afraid it may interfere with my butler duties. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that, after everything that's happened. I promise you, I will use everything at my disposal to help you. Oh. Well, sure. I mean, the silver's not going to polish itself, is it? <laughs> we will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Gotham is safer now. I only hope the peace will last. We could all use some peace. To peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, 
both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe you are. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression Gordon will be grateful. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get your call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. These people they have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is. But that's about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. So, does this mean you trust the Batman? Uh, to play by my rules? No. But to fight for this city? Hell yes. They're ready for you, Commissioner. During times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough doc to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize. To tell you how sorry I am for the pain the Wayne family has caused this community. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end,
A closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. to lock up. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon. Ha ha ha!